Hey guys, Vladimir is here and today I'm actually going to take a quick look at the game called Fumiko and it's actually not going to be quite quick because I thought if developer sends me the game to check it out and show me on the channel I'll just try to, you know, go through it and see some things from the player's perspective for the first time so maybe in order to help improve the game so this one is totally not scripted I've launched the game for the first time just to show you what's going on and yeah so yeah the first thing that you see is that like it just literally does not have the menu and you have to walk towards the choice and there's also some stuff that you need to read on the ground the music is quite atmospheric but mm, so it's just the controls uh, escape button rolls the menu there's this menu but you cannot uh, you cannot navigate it easily with the keyboard, it just seems to respond randomly to my key presses. Right now I'm just tapping my up key and tapping my down key. They were working, but they're not working right now. So, yeah, just weird. And now only down key is working. But alright, if I try to navigate it with mouse, it responds alright. And, uh, okay. Let me see. So there are some settings. Uh, it's nice to have four different sound settings. How are they configured? Ah, uh, yep, it's fine. You can scroll the mouse wheel in order to configure them. There are some control settings, and mm, but I don't actually uh, the camera speed. Let me try to adjust it. I have. They say I have to click to adjust the camera speed, but if I click right now, okay, I should be scrolling it. Okay, after I scroll it down to 1, for example, and then I try to behave, yeah, it just feels much better now, because with my mouse it was going crazy. Okay, so the hints are on the ground. One thing that I dislike about the hints on the ground is, um, well, you know, it just doesn't give you the menu feel. What if I just enter the game for the next time will it be showing me this same menu the same tutorial again and will i have to go to the selection again this is the question but i'll check it a bit it uh, a bit later so we have to find the memory fragments which are scattered across the game and they contain key elements in the plot the game will automatically save progress to extend the game while you continue to stop playing. Alright, let's start a new game. Overall, it just seems very atmospheric right now. The music is nice. Wait, how do I start the game? Okay, you need to jump there. So the music is nice and as you can see, it has a bit of a surrealistic graphics around it. The animations are... Well, they are a bit cornery. Although running, it doesn't feel too bad. I think it's alright. The controls are pretty responsive though. Mm. So you just walk around and visit the moon, the world, the company, menu, and I'm just exploring and showing what's going on. Is it really true what they are saying? And I've disappeared. I can't believe it. It guess it's just rumors. I guess it's just rumors. So the title. Space to quit. Okay. Let me check the controls. I like how the font is styled, so obviously it was done with the de details, but if you check it out, I think it just gets a bit blurry with the background, so I think maybe more mm, thicker border could help with this one. Oh, it started again. Okay, no, it's not. I'm just exploring the game with you guys and just showing you what's going on. 
Overall, I just really think that it takes imagination to <laughs> make something like that. Because, for example, I just couldn't think about this kind of world here. And it does seem very surreal. So, the game has this going for it, at least. Um, So it just throws some hints at you. Right. Overall it just feels... Mm. You know, the walking, the controls are alright, but if you walk on the ground, like, you don't feel that you're actually touching the ground. You feel like you're more of a sliding through it, or the ground slides underneath your feet which is a bit surreal, and I'm not sure it is intended to be that way. Um, Alright, where am I? How do I jump? Can I jump? Shift to dash, F to jump towards, delete self-destruct, and look left around. So right now I'm just walking around. Oh, did I just leave the map accidentally? Or well, maybe not. You know, it just feels like there's this invisible border and I cannot walk past it. It just feels... It just breaks the immersion a bit, you know. still have this invisible wall. Right. Where do I go? So yeah, the first thing is... I don't think that games should like lead you by hand, but right here it just throws you into this almost immediately. And well, for me it's hard to understand what's going on. Of course, maybe I'm not the target audience for this, but... It just really feels weird, you know, and the fact that I can look around, but I see nothing. There's this jump button, but what does the jump towards to mean? And also the dashing. Well, what happens if I self-destruct? No, I cannot self-destruct too. It just feels like nothing is going on. Alright, I think I grabbed something. And then I just move towards the other thing. What if I take this virtual experience only? Oh, okay. What if I take this moon picture and move it towards the room? So I still have no idea what do I need to do. See, there's this text on the room, and what does it say? The to world first company introduced virtual meeting. Okay, here's the question sign, the red question sign. I knew you couldn't resist. You have come far, but it ends here. Can't you see that you? are causing nothing but Alright, that went south quickly. And I can't see anything. And the game is loading right now. So yes, yeah, so far I just can't understand what's going down. Okay, please restart. So you're inside of the computer. Okay. Well, at least it seems like you're inside of the system. And... 
understand what's happening. This white screen is taking a lot of time. Okay, great. Overall, I really, I really like this screen because I like the contrast between, you know, the orange and the white and the text is very clear. So this part, I think it just, it just well done, this screen in particular. So we have to examine the area. All right. So we have to jump platforms now, right? Um, basically what I don't understand is why... If we're going through the jumping right now, why was there a need to write the special tutorial commands like on the start of the game? Why not just make the same good menu like there is here? Uh, okay, can I jump this far enough? I don't think I can jump this high enough. And I mean, I don't mean to be harsh on the game. I'm just playing it with you and just I'm discovering it right now. And I think that... Oh, wait, I can jump from the walls. So I just think the game lacks some polish, like this jumping... Uh, the jumping part. And I like the jumping games, don't get me wrong, but here... Okay, I can double jump. And the fact that those descriptions are written uh, you can jump on the ground. Why not write descriptions on the screen like you did with the previous ones? I mean, remember this dialogue when this scene started? There was the very well written, very well detailed, detailed text here. Just showing you the dialogue between the characters. But right now all those hints are written on the ground and it just doesn't make much sense. Um, Let's see if I use your ground marker. And yeah, you see this hint. I mean, it's all right because you kind of read it when you land on it. But again, much better. It would be much better if something displayed right after you landed. Because when we look at this, I kind of already think about the Unity presence. Like somebody just moved some text here, left it in the Unity editor, and then you just land here, see the text, and uh, well, yeah, it is what it is. Overall, if those messages are displayed after you do something, it conveys more quality in the game. And um, land safely by checking if your ground marker hits the object. Okay. Ground marker. Okay, I found an exit. And again, I don't really have any issues with the plot, how it's turning out, but the game just lacks a bit of a polish. And you see those floating messages, they just don't look very cool. Like you see this this contrast of two messages, like Wilson says you managed to get in here fast. And this one, this one looks great, honestly. I like the text is sharp and I like that it leaves some black background in the back of it. But, you know, this one to the left is just floating in space, and... Uh... All right. Why do I have to move the camera for better readability here? Why can't those messages be displayed the same way as the Wilson message? At least this is the thing that I get from uh, the first impression from playing. I mean, I might be wrong, but this is the impression that I get so far. What the hell is going on? Okay. And you see, 
because this this one is beautifully done overall i just really like how the lights are you know, are done here and those you know this abstract style it just fits the narrative like you're a computer or something like that And you see, again, this was the, let the flying letters. If you just, just a second, I think I'm going down. Alright, I died. Uh, so there is this ground scanner. You know, this floating text it just really kills it for me. But the graphics are not bad. The game has its own style. It might be, like, you know, this rectangle ish. Low poly style. And only question that I get right now is why is this the Wilson's text shown very well, but all the other kids are floating, and it just really gives this unity vibe out there, which I don't mind much, but you know, you kind of get to see it in the games right now often. So I jump there. I need to touch the connection. So there's the slogan, the escape menu. <laughs> Gather those things and push them into the next one. Let me check. And the fourth one. So yeah, the impression overall right now... Wait, I didn't leave the system for the game. So yeah, the impression is that the game lacks polish. I mean, it obviously has the plot and the story to tell, but looking at it from this perspective, I don't know, I'd be a bit uh, disappointed if I paid for it. Again, not because it seems like a bad game, but like those quirks that you would see mostly in the hobby projects and not in the professional games especially the ones that are sold for 8 euros and it's just a bit disappointing like this flying text or overall the animations a bit well they are a bit weird the walking part and did I just fall down? oh okay if I fell down I can just go back or I can self-destruct. Cool. So it's more of a puzzles right now. Oh wow. And the jumping feels a bit Oh, okay, I get it now. There's this purple marker that kind of throws you, that kind of shows you if you're going to land. This is what the tutorial was about. And, okay, I'm standing at the gate, but what do I have to do? Many of my memory pieces left in the area, zero. Wait, am I at the gate right now? But oh, okay, maybe I need to collect those yellow things. So yeah, it just also the 
landing on platforms doesn't feel very smooth. Again, based on my impressions right now, I cannot say that if it's a good game or a bad game, but in, when it comes to gameplay, but polish-wise, it could definitely could use more more attention to the details, I suppose, like those floating texts, uh, the jumping, which feels a bit weird with the camera. Uh, the, can I actually turn on the camera so it follows my character or not? I'm just curious in the settings. Okay. Wow, this one is actually nice. So, yeah, I like when there's a settings that when developer thinks about you. So, this is a big plus, that's for sure. But some other things, well, they didn't turn out to be that great. Overall, people... Uh, yeah, Fumi Fumiko. I think I'll end it right now. I'm actually going to cut the video a bit just not to show you the most mm, weird parts but yeah disregarding the gameplay would I want to run the game again probably not simply because of this unpolished feeling I think it's a great feat to publish the game and to finish it so in that regard I wish the developer all the best but I think there just needs some room for growth before it becomes good namely due to the issues that I've told you thank you for watching Vladimir is out for today